How can we find the value of X? <laughs> Welcome back everyone to another math video. Today we'll be looking on solving equations containing fractions. So the first thing that we have to do is to find the LCM of the denominators. Then we multiply that LCM by each of the terms. And then we just solve for the unknown. So three simple steps. And we're going to dive right into some problems. Let's go. So we want to find what the value of y is. We need to find what the lowest common multiple is. The denominators are 7 and 14. The lowest common multiple would be 14. The next step is for us to multiply um, the lowest common multiple by each of these terms. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have multiplied each term by our lowest common multiple which is 14 so what we're going to do now is we're going to simplify so 7 into 7 goes one time 7 into 14 will give us 2 14 into 14 1 14 into 14 1 7 into 7 and we're left with 2 so we're going to rewrite this now so we got rid of the denominators because remember that our aim is to solve for our unknown or our variable, which is y. So we are going to rewrite this. So it would be 2 times our numerator minus 1 times y equal 2 times our numerator, which is 9. So we're going to simplify, expand our bracket. So 2 times our 5y will give us 10y. Um, this will give us our negative y equal to 2 times 9 is positive 18. Here we go. So we have like terms right here. So we can go ahead and simplify these some more. So 10y minus y will give us 9y equal to 18 we want to get the variable by itself on one side so we have to get rid of this 9 multiplying by the y and the opposite operation is to divide both sides by 9 so therefore y is equal so 9 into 9 1 9 into 18 2 time so y is equal to 2. let's move to our next example so the first thing we have to do is find what the lowest common multiple is. So denominators are 5, 2, and we have a whole number here. If we rewrite this whole number as a fraction, it would be 9 over 1. So the denominators are 5, 2, and 1. The lowest common multiple of 5, 2, and 1 is 10. And we're going to go ahead and multiply each of these terms by the lowest common multiple. So... All right, so here we go. So we multiply the, each term by the lowest common multiple. And we're just going to go ahead and get rid of our denominators or simplify. So 5 into 10, we're left with 2. 2 into 10, we're left with 5. And 1 into 10, we're left with 10. <laughs> All right, so we going, we're going to rewrite this. So we have 2 times 2a plus 5 times a is equal to 10 times 9. And we are going to simplify some more, expand our brackets. So 2 times 2a will give us 4a plus 5a equal to 90. So we realize that these are like terms again. So we can simplify those. So 4 plus 5 will give us 9. We write back our variable, which is a, equal to 90. And we want to get rid of the 9, so we divide both sides by 9. Therefore, a is equal to positive 10. 
our third example looks a little bit more complex but it follows the same routine first thing we need to do is find the lowest common multiple the lowest common multiple of 8 4 and 5 is 40 next step is to multiply each term by our lowest common multiple which is 40 so we'll have 40 and we can rewrite this as one thing. So it is 7, 8 times x, which is the same thing as saying 7x over 8 minus or 40 times our quarter equal to our 40 times. We can rewrite this as 1 algebraic fraction. So we'll have 4x over 5 plus 40 over 11 over 4. We're going to go ahead and get rid of our denominators. So 8 into 8, one time 8 into 40 goes 5. 4 into 40 gives us 10. 5 into 40 goes 8 times. 4 into 40 goes 10. Let's rewrite this now and simplify it. So we'll have 5 times 7x minus 10 times 1 equal to 8 times 4x plus 10 times 11. So we're going to go ahead and multiply. So 5 times 7x will give us 35x. Negative 10 times 1 will give us negative 10 equal 8 times 4x will give us 32x. And 10 times 11 will give us 110. So all we're going to do now is to solve for our x. So in order to do this, we need to first get both variables on one side of the equation. So we're going to do that by subtracting 32x on both sides. So that will cancel, so we're left with 110 on the right-hand side. 35 minus 32, we're left with 3. And we write back our variable, which is x, right back our 10. Then we're going to get rid of this 10 that is subtracting from the 3x by adding 10 on both sides. So we'll have 3x on the left-hand side and 110 plus 10 to give us 120. From here, we want to get rid of the 3 multiplying by the x, and we do that by dividing both sides by 3. The 3 will cancel each other, so we're left with x on the left-hand side, and 3 into 120 will give us 40. Therefore, x is equal to 40. Final problem for today is this one. An instruction would say solve or solve for P or something along that line. So we want to find what the value of P is. So follow the same simple steps. First step is to find the LCM of the denominators. So the lowest common multiple of 7 and 10 would be 70. The next thing is to multiply both terms by the lowest common multiple, so we'll have 70 times our 2p minus 3 over 7. And we'll have 70 minus our 3p minus 5 over 10. We are going to get rid of our denominators, our simplify. So 7 into 70, we're left with 10. 10 into 70, we're left with 7. We're going to rewrite this. So we have 10 being multiplied by our 2p minus 3 equal to 7 times our 3p minus 5. We're going to expand our brackets. And remember, we expand our brackets by multiplying the term outside by each term inside of the bracket. So we'll have... 20p minus 30 is equal to 21p 
minus 35. And just as with the previous problem, we're going to go ahead, get both terms on one side of the equation and solve for the unknown, which is P. So we're going to go ahead and subtract this 21P from the right hand side. And whatever we do on one side, we have to do it on the other side. We'll have 20 minus 21 to give us negative 1P minus 30 is equal to our negative 35. We want to get rid of our negative 30, so we add 30 on both sides. So we'll have our negative P is equal to negative 5. To get rid of this negative, we are going to divide by negative 1. Therefore, P is equal to positive 5. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more math content. Goodbye.